pantomime. It's a staple of the theatre year, and there's something uniquely British about those stories of kings, queens, voyages, goodies and baddies, set against the backdrop of cross-dressing with thigh-slapping girls playing the heroes and ageing blokes playing their mothers. For 75 years since Stephen Pantomime Company has been at the heart of the village and the community. But why does it continue to thrive after all these years? Where did it begin? How has it changed over these years? And why do audiences return to this village's productions year after year? Let's take a look back over the last 75 years of entertainment as we raise the curtain on St Stephen Pantomime Company. I think it was 1950. 1960. It's good teamwork. We work really well together as a team, all of us. You know, no one is at the forefront. Everybody works together. You know, so I, I, I think that's, that's, that's the key to it, really. Grease the bottom! <laughs> we all work hard. We all have fun. But we know there's going to be something good at the end of it. Getting those reactions from the audience, it's, it's a buzz. You know, sometimes you come home from it and you just can't get to sleep because you're still on that high from how the show's gone. Look at that! Lieutenant Dry Milk! <laughs> and there's not much else that I do in my own life that I get that same sort of enjoyment from. The hut had to explode and, and the roof, part of the roof come off. It did come off. It, it disappeared from one side of the stage to the other. <laughs> We've had a few explosions. <laughs> yeah, we don't practice with those because they're, you know, pyros are very expensive items. After that, I was like the Duchess of Hyacinth, Queen Coke, um, and even the front end of a horse. Again, hiding behind the character and just having a really good making kids cry. Where do the ideas come from and how do, what's it like trying to write? I've got, I've got a really dirty mind sometimes. <laughs> Get in there with the rest of them. And I think not be afraid to make a fool of yourself. That is that's the best thing. And if you like wearing women's clothes, all the better. <laughs> well, I must say it's more professional now, Paul, to be fair about it. For a village pandemonium, it is. I mean, your, your lighting, of course, and your, your sound system. I see some of them now and, yeah, I think, oh, gosh, I remember their granddad in that. In a time where things don't last very long, you know, the fact that this group has been going for 75 years shows how much it means to this community. I think the support we had from all the other pantomimes in the district, I think they have helped out a lot to make our 75th pantomime a success. It is a long time. And lovely to think that we could manage to keep it going for so long. Yeah, you've got to have the laughs. I think you've definitely got to have the laughs. And without laughter, life's boring. We've got brilliant scenes, costumes, music is fantastic. Cut! <laughs> you know, I could say more, but I expect Steve's covered it as usual. <laughs> 